Hey team, how are we today on this beautiful wet day? Great day to stay inside. Hope you're all well and good and you're really enjoying all the workouts. It's pretty cool that you've got so much variety. Today we're doing a high pull, a reverse plank and a squat. You're going to work for 20 seconds and you're going to rest for 10. It's called a Tabata, so it gets the heart rate up. Not much rest, but it gets that body fat burning straight after, which is pretty much what we want. So you work as hard as you can for 20 seconds. Only 20 seconds, that's a good effort, a good amount of time to put the effort in, I should say. And then you've got 10 seconds rest to transition to the next movement. So with the high pull, you can either use a bag filled with books, you can use a sandbag, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a weight plate, you can use a resistance band. Today I'm just going to show you the resistance band, just because it's nice and easy for you. Um, but again, you can step it up using a heavier weight or a different implement that you're going to use. Uh, with the reverse plank, I'll give you two options, and then with the squat, I'll give you a couple of options too. So with the high pull, grab yourself your band, and all you do is step in it and be up tall. And all you do is pull the elbows up and your thumbs to your chin. Making sure when you do it, you're not rounded forward. Make sure you're up nice and tall and that core is switched on. Unlock your knees, and all you're going to do is pull for 20 seconds. If you're on the band, don't let it just flop down. Pull it up, control it down. Pull it up, control it down. So you're going to go for 20 seconds. Then you'll have 10 seconds to transition to your plank. With the reverse plank, you're going to give the easier option, I'm going to give you a couple, is to bend, the, bend your knees so the feet are flat raise your hips as high as you possibly can and try and get this front part of your body into a nice high plank and all you got to do is squeeze your butt. Really burns the shoulders, the glutes and the hamstrings. So glutes, hamstrings, shoulders. To make it a bit harder, stretch your feet out and do the same thing and just hold. Squeeze your butt. If the floor is too hard, get yourself up on a bit of a ledge. Again, you can do straight legs from here or bent legs from here. All you've got to do is squeeze and hold for 20 seconds and that's all you're going to do. With the squat, you can jump squat. If you're landing, try not to <coughs> land really hard. Try not to use these big muscles here, your quads, to absorb the landing. Drive through the heels. If jumping's not your thing, squat, power up onto your toes and repeat onto your toes. Again, if that's still too hard, just squat. Go to your range. If you need something to sit on, sit on the couch, sit to stand, or the coffee table. You want to make it harder? Hold some bags, hold some weights, and squat. Your movement bubble, guys. So the play is for three rounds. So 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, do the whole circuit three times round. High pull, reverse plank, squat. High pull, reverse plank, squat. High pull, reverse plank, squat. Rest for roughly a minute, minute and a half, whatever you want. Repeat it again, another time, well, it's up to you how many times you repeat it, but two times total will give you a nice quick movement snack. If you need longer and you've got longer, if you want more energy, stay in your bubble, go longer. If not, go shorter. It's up to you. Enjoy your day. It's a nice easy one to do inside so you don't ruin the floor, you don't need much space. I hope you're enjoying your day. Have a good one. See ya.